Well by troll. Must be blocked from the other side. pleasures. I pay my penance. What are you doing in this dungeon? I devote myself to solitary prayer, to confession and fasting. I have broken the lock. You can leave. But I choose to live this way. I am an anchoress. This is my entire life. Sealed up here, all day and night for life. It is an odd way to worship. I am at complete peace with the world. Can you say as much? How can you be at peace with the world if you live beyond its reach? I know the pain it can inflict. Come outside. Your god won't be angry for just a few moments. Come. Come. I will follow you. If only to feel the grass beneath my feet. I will repent when I return. I came here after the dark times. Pestilence and hunger. The death of my father. It has been years. I wonder what it will be like to once again feel a cool breeze. The warm sun. The scent of lavender.
The Lord will have spun. Why the cursing, Vikinger? These are the funeral embers of the last of my raiding crew. One by one, they have fallen. It is a heavy loss. There is more. Just days ago, news from Norway tells me my family has been taken by the plague. All of them. All! Vikinger. My wife, my children, all my pretty ones. It is too much. You must grieve for your lost friend. I cannot weep. As a raider, I taught myself not to. Could you... Could you give me leave to weep? What do you mean? You are a Vikinger, as am I. Perhaps if you gave me leave... I would water the earth with a storm of tears to soften the pain. We must distract your mind from this sadness. Let us fight a home gang to first blood. It is a good idea. I cannot weep, but I can still fight! good to fight, but friend, it did not take away my grief. I cannot even weep! Gone! All gone! 
My lord, know that the winner at Nengarth in Iran. You have lost your apples, but I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over, and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple, no? Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the west, Hammes Farm. Farmer Hammer, to the west. Yes, we call him the Hammer, and his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but... I fell on some misfortune. My cart busted. Oh, if only me back wasn't knotted like a dying oak! Sit tibi erit ipse benedictus. Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crate. I'll be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you, once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. We will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your god? Yes, we show our devotion, remove distraction. But now, we give in to the fruits of our Creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh. <laughs> it is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Oh, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. <laughs> the act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlak at the end of this glorious pilgrimage, drown in his reward. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples if you like. We bob. Bob? It is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to him. <laughs> <laughs> 